What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. I enjoyed this episode of Days. I did. I enjoyed it. Um, first of all, Hope. Hope is getting on my goddamn nerve. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can't stand Hope. Listen, I totally understand why she don't want Ben with Sierra. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Who wants their child with somebody who murdered people? You know what I'm saying? I get it. But you can't tell me she didn't plant evidence against Ben. I know she did. That's how she got the so-called evidence to arrest them today. I was like, yeah, because you fucking planted that evidence. She investigated this crime already. She had forensic techs all over that cabin, CSI units, or just everybody investigated that. They found nothing that links that fire to Ben. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Now you reopen the investigation and mind you, she told Sean, oh, I'm going to get Ben off the streets by the end of the day by any means necessary. Once you said any means necessary, I knew she was going to I knew she was going to frame him. I knew it. I said, I knew it. I knew it. And that just goes to show the type of hypocritical person she is. I knew it. Um, now, all of a sudden, you got so-called evidence. I hope like hell when they find proof that she planted that evidence. I hope Ben sues that city. I hope he sues the town of Salem. And she gets fired. He probably going to get millions off of this shit. I hope he do. That way he can finally get money since nobody in that town will hire him. He can finally get some cash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hope that he sues the shit out that town. Because Hope is such a hypocrite. Like, she, for years, she looked her nose down at the Demiras. For years, she always called Stefano, EJ, Andre, a bunch of criminals. Always trying to lock them up. And all the while, Stefano was right about her all along. He always said she ain't no better than they are. Stefano always felt that way about her. She always looked her nose down at Stefano and the, and the rest of the Demiras. But you're no different than them. You're Hell, you ain't no different than Victor, her own father-in-law. You're no different than him. Shit, he did criminal shit. The Demiras are criminals. Guess what? You're now in the same boat as them. You're a criminal too. The moment she pulled that trigger on Stefano... You became a murderer of your damn self. You know what I'm saying? You became one of them. She became one of them. She has no right to call nobody a criminal in this, that, and third when you're the same fucking way. You're a hypocrite, period. Um, I could understand why she don't like Sammy, though. I, I uh, Trust me, I get that point. Um, first of all, Sammy slept with her dude, so I don't get, I, I get why she pissed at that. And she ain't got no feelings for Sammy at this point. I think she genuinely feel bad for what happened to Marlena, but as far as anything else with Sammy, she really just don't like her, <laughs> and I kind of don't blame her. Like I said before, Sammy, I could take her in small doses. I really could. I could take her in small fucking doses, but I'm glad Sammy's not back full time. Thank the Lord. I can't watch Sammy every day. I can't. She's draining, like seriously. I, I like Sammy on occasion. Don't get me wrong. I don't want people to think I don't like her because I do. But it's like she can be just a pain in the ass. But what she said about Belle today was true. When she told Eric basically, you know, tell Belle that she basically murdered her own mother. I agree with that because I'm not feeling Belle right now. And it was so funny because when Belle went to um, Horton Town Square, she told uh, Sean and Claire about Marlena's living will and how she turned it into Kayla to give to the board. Claire was pissed. Sean sitting there talking about something. Oh, I'm supportive of you. Sean, how the hell could you support something like that? You're basically murdering your own damn mother is basically what you're doing. Um, Claire wasn't having it, though. Claire was not here for it. She basically blasted her mother for it. And Belle sitting there talking about something. Oh, maybe John could find a way to overturn the directive. You dumbass. He wouldn't have to find a way to overturn nothing if you just listened to him and Kayla and didn't turn the damn um, paperwork in, fool. They kept begging her not to give the paperwork to the board. Even Kayla told her not to do it. And Kayla's the damn chief of staff. Even she didn't agree with it. She was like, don't do it. And she still wanted to do it. Talking about, oh, I got to respect her wishes. Now you're talking about, oh, maybe John could find a way. He wouldn't have to find a way if you would have listened to them before. It's your fault. You're the one who turned in the paperwork, fool. I was like, Belle is, ugh. She need to go back to Hong Kong. Belle need to go back to Hong Kong. 
That's all I can say. Like, that was some dumb shit. Um, first of all, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Belle basically admit yesterday that she kind of talked Marlena into signing a living will? Marlena wouldn't even sign a living will. She kind of talked her into doing it. So this is basically all Belle fault. And I don't blame John for being pissed at her. John basically told her he loved his daughter, but he's ashamed that she is his daughter. And I don't blame him because why would you do this? Like you talk about, oh, I want to honor her wishes. Keep her alive. I don't give a damn what Marlena said or what Marlena put in a living will that you pressured her into signing. Shit, who the hell? I don't give a damn. That's like if I tell people, oh, if I'm ever in a vegetative state, take me off life support. I don't give a damn what I said. People know me well enough to know to keep them machines on and to keep me breathing. They know that. They ain't stupid. <laughs> they know me well enough. I don't give a damn what I say. And for me, I would never say no shit like that. Keep me on the machines as long as you can. Shit, I might have a fighting chance. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know the doctors are not hopeful that Marlena is going to wake up, but you never know. You know? Even in real life, even though this is a show, and we all know that she's going to wake up, but in real life, things like this happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. If, you know, the doctors always say there's nothing we can do. Keep them damn machines on for a little while longer. Because you never know what can happen. Bell was getting on my nerves. I don't understand how some of the smaller people can sit there and say, oh, we support you. How could you support that decision? That's what I want to know. Like, how could Sean and all them support that decision? So if Hope was on a ventilator and you take her off and she dies, if somebody wanted to take, if say if Sierra wanted to take Hope off the ventilator, you mean to tell me Sean would be okay with that? For me, I doubt it. I doubt he would be. That's just stupid. Um, now, uh, Bell want to run around town crying and stuff like that. Ah, you could miss me with all them tears because I'm not feeling bad for you. You the one that set all this dumb shit in motion. Um, John, I don't blame him. He's trying to do whatever the hell he can to stop this. But I knew when Justin went to the board of directors to try to get that directive back, I knew he wasn't going to be able to get it back because the board can't take the directive back. Once they have that paperwork, there's nothing they can do. Legally, there's nothing they can do. They have to honor Marlena's wishes. It's in the living will that she does not want to be on a machine artificially. She does not want to artificially be kept alive. She made that clear in her living will. So there's nothing the board can do. I think the only thing Justin could do is try to file some type of injunction. But the problem is John is not Marlena's legal husband. They had the wedding, but they weren't legally married yet because of Kristen and Sammy interfering. So he has no legal claim. Um, but I'm like, what about Eric, though? That's her son. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he should have Justin file some type of injunction. Him and Sammy should file some type of injunction to fight it. They are her children. They have just as much right. They have just as much of a voice as Belle does. So... They should be able to file some type of injunction, hopefully, to, you know, stop it. That's what I think Justin should do. He should file some emergency injunction to have it stopped or at least delayed until they can have some type of court hearing. You know what I mean? Um, do something. But knowing John, he's going to have some type of trick up his sleeve. Ain't no way he let Marlena die. It, it's not happening. There's no way in hell he let Marlena die. Not going to happen. John will fight tooth and nail to keep her alive. Um... At this point, though, as far as Clear and Trip are concerned, they might as well put the two of them together. I'm I'm sick of Trip. I really am. I'm sick of Trip. His judgmental, hypocritical ass attitude towards Ben. I understand he don't like Ben. I get it. That's that's his prerogative. But you're a hypocrite and you're judgmental. First of all, you're no different than Ben. Well, not not that much different. Did he or did he not try to kill Kayla? He had a scalpel to her throat. Steve had to talk him down. He was damn near about to kill Kayla. So even though Ben did kill some people, you tried to kill some. Hell, you tried to kill your own stepmother. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you to judge that man on anything when you're not perfect? You know what I'm saying? Like, you've done some shit yourself. You know what I mean? Like, he's far from perfect. But um, I'm I'm a big fan. I'm a, I'm a fan of Sierra and Ben. As crazy as it might sound because of the whole serial killer nonsense, I'm a fan. I like them together for some reason. Like, I think the chemistry is there. Um, 
And I think that was a dope thing that Ben did for Sierra, though. He fixed up her bike. That was pretty dope. You know, um, he fixed up uh, her father's motorcycle. And everybody knows that Sierra loves that motorcycle, you know, especially since Bo died and stuff like that. So it was dope that he fixed it up. Um, I'm definitely here for Sierra and Ben getting together. Hopefully he could find some evidence to prove that Hope framed him for that cabin fire because I know Ben didn't do that shit. She have no evidence. Now, all of a sudden, you got evidence. Bullshit. And I'm pretty sure Rafe and them going to figure it out that she framed that boy. We all know she did. But anyway, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you all later. Peace. Smash that like button. Smash that comment button. And tell me what you thought of today's episode. Peace.